Hey guys, what's up? Jake here from Jake's Home Workouts. I just got done with a workout and I got an idea. I wanted to make a post-workout shake to refuel my muscles. Oh, there's a fly. <laughs> to refuel my muscles and give me some energy, curb my appetite so I don't overeat later. So, what I have here first are some uh, bananas that are about to go bad. So I'm going to use both of them. Normally I would just use one banana, but today I'm going to use two because I don't want to waste these bananas. Then I'm just going to take some skim milk and some chocolate milk mix. Now grab the blender. Uh, one last thing, oatmeal. A lot of people might think it's weird to put oatmeal in a shake. I thought it was pretty weird the first time I did it, but it actually tastes pretty good. Gives it a good consistency. So first, I'm just gonna put in these bananas because I don't like looking at the outside of them. See, they don't look that bad inside, right? Not gonna die. Okay. Just break it apart. Not eat, uh, if you're not used to eating fruit, two bananas might be a little too much. There's a little black part. Just gonna throw that away. I just use a third of a cup. I don't want a lot of oatmeal. That, that's not good. Running out of oatmeal. Fill that up. Okay. Nesquik. Okay, so Nesquik chocolate mix, not the healthiest stuff for you. But post-workout, just after your workout, it's good to get some simple sugars in your body. If you're trying to lose weight, I wouldn't use more than a tablespoon. If you're trying to gain weight, I would still stick to two tablespoons. Uh, you can do more if you want, if you have a really fast metabolism. Whatever you feel. I'm just going to do um, probably one and a little bit because I like chocolate. And there we go. That. You can use skim milk. You can also use 1% or 2% depending on your goals. But post workout, it's best to limit your fat. Plus, it's best to limit your fat anyways. So I'm just going to use skim. Um, I usually don't measure it out. If you're trying to lose weight, you may want to measure it out. If you're trying to gain weight and you have a really hard time gaining weight, you may have to measure two or three cups out just to make sure you're getting enough calories and protein. And voila. Okay, one last thing, ice. So 
so that is an example of a cheap post-workout protein shake that you can make. All the protein comes from milk, a little bit from the oatmeal, but nonetheless it's good protein, it's healthy, it's cheap. If you're looking for something besides protein powders, this is good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Sound like I'm trying to convince you. No, it's, it, it, it does taste really good. And if you're really pressed for time, you can just take milk and chocolate. Just have chocolate milk. Now, I don't recommend this throughout the day, but right after a workout, um, when your body is depleted of carbohydrates, it's a good time to have it because your body can immediately use that for fuel and it's more than likely not going to store it as fat. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is the first episode of Jake Shake. Hopefully we'll get some more episodes for you in the future. Uh, hopefully I'll come up with some, I'll, look, I'll uh, try to come up with some interesting yet good tasting shakes. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.